for our seated internal hip rotation, you're going to want some kind of a seat where you've got your knees uh, directly in front of your hips, a block, and a mini band. That's one of those thin thigh width bands. We're going to start with the bands around our ankles. I'm going to take my block in between my knees just to keep my knees about hip width apart. So I'm starting in a more neutral hip position and I'm not starting with those knees caved in, already starting in that internally rotated position. The block is really optional, but I find it a little bit easier to get started. From here, I'm going to keep one foot anchored towards the floor. My other foot, I'm going to push the outside of the ankle into the band. This is rotating our thigh towards our midline. This is our internal hip rotation. And then I'm going to relax, bringing that foot back down. Reaching that foot out towards the side. You might feel a little squeeze in the outside of that hip and then relax. Aim for eight to 12 reps, making sure that our thigh is staying on the chair. It's not lifting or doing anything clunky in space. If this feels easy with the block, we can take the block away and you can use the muscles in your outer hips to keep those knees separated and not collapse back in towards each other as you're doing your rotations. If you want to learn more stretches like this, you should totally check out the Flexipedia on my website. It's a free online library of stretches with detailed how-tos for both passive stretches and active stretches organized by muscle group. You can access the Flexipedia by going to dannywinksflexibility.com slash Flexipedia or simply click the link in its video description.